هاي اوف وان ذس از احمد عطيه عمر العمري اند جورج عود انجينيرنج ستودنت فروم بي اس يو تي جوردن وي ار هافينج اور امبيدد كلاس بروجكت فور سبرينج 2015 اتس ا اوتوكل ملتيبل تشويس اوتو كوريكتر ماشين وي هاف يوزد ان اولد انك جيت برينتر اند هاكد ات تو يوز سم بارتس اوف ات هير از ذا انك جيت هير از ذا سيكت انسايد سو ناو وي جست جونا موف ات ا ليتل بيت اوكي So this is we are having a microcontroller pick a 16F877A uh, comparators, potentiometers, a couple of wires. We're going to be explaining each one for what we have used. Down there we are having a circuit uh, which contains uh, five uh, pairs of uh, IR sensors, sensor and receiver, with, with a couple of resistors and a capacitor. Okay. So now we're going to be having this. This is the format that we have made for our project. Okay, so we are having A, B, C, D for 20 questions per, per exam. The black dots are the reference port or to have the feedback for our DC motor because when we had the printer, we had uh, difficulty using the built-in feedback system. Deep in there, there is the edge bridge used to control the motor in order to, to have more safety for the current seeking and uh, leakage from the, from the microcontroller. So the IR sensors giving us um, specific voltage readings according to the white and black readings. So we are having a potentiometers with an op amps to compare with the reading out of the IR sensors. The microcontroller connected to the IR sensors, connected to the switch bottom of a uh, built-in HP PCB that we have reverse engineered. But we have cut in the wires, crystal oscillator, and we have taken a USB TTL uh, serial communication to the laptop, which is shown over here. And now my colleague Omar Omari will show us a demo for this project. Hello everyone. Now we're gonna do the demo. Uh, first of all, we're gonna uh, open the hyper terminal. Now we're gonna name the file because you're gonna save it for the marks. We're gonna name it mark one. We're gonna choose connecting using COM6 bits per second. We're gonna choose 9600 data bits eight, parity none, stop bits one, flow control none. And we're gonna click OK. Now we're gonna open uh, the printer. Now it gives us the message, welcome to the autocorrect machine, please type the answers. Now show us the first number of the first question, what is the correct answer. We're gonna put as the paper here. First question is A, second question is B, C, D. Now we're gonna show that if I put any other letter than A and B or C or D, it's gonna give me a wrong message. Like I was gonna type J. This input is wrong. Please retype again. I put a number. Same thing. A character. Same thing. Now if I put the caps lock, I'm gonna put uh, the fifth question. Correct answer is B. Second, uh, sixth question is C, then A, then, uh, then 3D. After that, 2C, 2B, 2A, B, C, D, and the final one is A. Assume him the numbers of the question and the correct answer. Now we're gonna put the paper in the printer, in the correct machine. We're going to move 20 steps. And now it's gonna show us the first student mark is 20 out of 20. Now we're gonna do another demonstrate demo. If we're going to do uh, four cases that if we put two answers, or three answers, or four answers, or no answer, with some of them,
Correct answers. Now, a uh, num question number one and question number three and four are right. Question number four is wrong. Question number five is also wrong. And number six, no, number six is right. Number seven is right. And as we can see at number eight, we have three answers. This uh, the, uh, the another case. Uh, here we have the four answers case. And here at number 15, we have no answers. We're gonna see the mark for the second student. steps for 20 question student mark is 6